Hi everybody, I'm Allison Morrow. Today we're going to talk about antiperspirant versus deodorant. First though, subscribe if you like this channel and you like all things that smell good or bad. Like Ryan Coe here, who is my colleague along with Andy Wallace, also friend and colleague. But we're going to start with Ryan because you recently had like a supernatural experience with your t-shirts. That's right. What well, happened, Ryan? I was trying to get ready early in the morning. My wife was still sleeping and it was dark, so it was middle of winter. So I used my cell phone, brought up the light, you know, and I was looking for something to wear. In and your closet. Clothes. And just as a side note, you don't have like any, you know, stars on your ceiling or anything from when you were a 13 year old. No, there are no disco balls. There's nothing that should be shining. As I'm going through the clothes, right around the armpit region of all my t-shirts they're all glistening they all have like a shine like a they're they're glowing essentially and I'm going through one through and every single one that's in the closet same thing and so I freak out do you freak out because you think it's a ghost <laughs> <laughs> it could be <laughs> a scary t-shirt armpit ghost I google it right away it's like armpit glittery supernatural experience yeah, yeah. ghost in my t-shirts yeah, you... and of course the first thing that comes up is aluminum uh, in your antiperspirant. So. And so you find out that aluminum in antiperspirant causes these stains. Essentially, we did find this guy having the same problem here, checking out his armpit stains. Ingrained in every one of my shirts, it's probably doing the same thing to my skin, to my armpits. So, so you stop freaking out about the ghost and your shirts, <laughs> and now you start freaking out about your skin and your health. So then yeah. what do you do? Well, I just made a decision, right? Right then, no more antiperspirant because um, I have Alzheimer's in my family, and I don't need. Even though it, it could, it's not really proven at this point. But if I can eliminate it, and I don't need it, anything I can do to lower my chances of getting that disease, I will do. If you're interested in that, we're going to put some links in the description so you can read a little bit more on what science says about aluminum in your antiperspirant and exposure to it. But that got Andy here thinking about his armpits too. Well, it's because Ryan started talking about it at work the other day. <laughs> he talked about his story and his glittery armpits and I was like, what is this? And I talked to my wife about it and she was like, you should really do some research on it, which you're probably going to see a graphic for. Right here. And Andy is going to so, talk you through it. Basically, these pores right here in your skin right here are getting clogged. As much as the ladies would love it, we're going to just keep our shirts on this video, Andy. So I know you want All to, right. but just keep walking us through it as well, if we were looking you at you topless. But, yeah. <laughs> your sweat can't get out. Right, so it can't get out, but then in the process, or those aluminum particles get into your skin and to your bloodstream. You guys weren't anyway sure about all this until your glittery armpits, right? And before that, you hadn't even heard of it before, that aluminum was in your antiperspirant? I mean, I didn't even think about it. And then I went and looked at the stick that I had. And on the back, it's a prescription. It, there's an active ingredient in there um, that is the aluminum. If it's something like a chemical that, you know, that needs to be disclosed on your in your medications and and your toothpaste and all these uh, other <laughs> hey <-o>. <laughs> <laughs> But you bring up the point that it discloses this in the ingredient list and really there's a dosage of what is healthy for a human to come in contact with, but we may be doing a lot more than that dosage if we don't know that that's even a problem. I mean, I doubt anybody thinks about it. Use it because it works and they'll use it as often as they need to because I mean, if you sweat a lot, you have a job like ours where you're outside in the summer heat or you're, you know, you know, working up a sweat a lot, um, and I tend to be a sweaty person, uh, um, it works. And I appreciate the fact that I didn't have big wet stains in my armpits, you know, when you're dealing with the public a lot. <laughs> 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 I thought you said your armpits went limp and then yeah, gave yeah. went limp. So, but Andy, how, how does this now that Ryan is converting to non-aluminum based uh, deodorant change your buying practices? I mean, you guys look exactly the same, so you well, want your are, armpits to smell are, the same, we right? Are, we are the brothers in ginger arms. Uh, and gingers um, all come from Ireland, all of them, all so of them. it's very cold there. And Everyone knows that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they sweat a lot. Well, I'm still wearing my Alzheimer's 
brewing. Oh my god, stay um, away from him. <laughs> stay away from uh, him. <laughs> deodorant right hasn't now. Hasn't stopped him. Hasn't it hasn't stopped, stopped me because I haven't found one that I know is right. You don't get the same smell resistance, well, right? Well, I naturally smell like flowers and True. bourbon, so it's fine. <laughs> Carrots. Yeah, carrots and ginger. But that is an issue because I switched over to normal deodorant without aluminum a long time ago. And I'll be honest, my husband regularly tells me that I smell. But I just have decided that for like the last hundred years, we've tried to not be humans, which in smelling is just a normal part of sweating. And so, you know what? I'm bringing back my humanity with my smell. I kind of wonder what that smell was. What? Humanity? <laughs> You. I think I just <laughs> thought of a new name for my deodorant that I'm marketing. Humanity. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and subscribe to the video if you want more of this kind of stuff. Ryan Co., Andy Wallace, Allison Morrow. See you next time. Subscribe. Bye.